Plane's giant bombardier slammed a U.S. decision to slap a giant tax on its jets on as absurd on Wednesday amid rising fears the levy will stoke a full-blown international trade war. The Canadian firm, which employs 4,100 staff in Northern Ireland, could be forced to scrap or overhaul production of the C-Series passenger planes after U.S. trade chiefs decided to hit imports with a 220% duty. The levy in effect triples the cost of the planes for U.S. buyers, raising questions over future sales of the troubled jet in the world's biggest aerospace market. The company moved to allay those fears by revealing it was in talks with China's three biggest airlines over the sale of the C-Series in a move that could partially cushion a hit in U.S. China is the world's fastest growing airline market. The magnitude of the proposed duty is absurd and divorced from the reality about the financing of multi-billion dollar aircraft programs, the company said. The preliminary ruling follows a claim by rival Boeing that state aid from Canada and the UK had made it cheaper for Bombardier to build the 130-seat planes. Bombardier last year received an order for 75 jets from Delta Airlines for $5.6 billion, £4.2 billion, triggering the complaint. A court will issue a final ruling next year to take into account whether Boeing had suffered any harm from the sale. The Prime Minister, Theresa May pictured, said she was bitterly disappointed by the move and the UK's ads group, which speaks on behalf of giants such as Bay Systems and Rolls-Royce, said the US decision was not in the interests of the global aerospace sector. This ruling is extremely disappointing and unsettling for Northern Ireland's aerospace industry, Chief Executive Paul Everett said. The move has also fueled concerns that high tariffs could become a feature of trade deals in future, amid a flurry of policy shifts from Brexit to the Americas' exit of the Trans-Pacific Partnership. This is just astounding for the size of the tariff. With Brexit and the rest of it we're looking for behaviour that is moderate and accommodating and anything that might appear irrational always raises an eyebrow, said Jeffrey's analyst, Sandy Morris. The C-Series jets had a troubled start, with Bombardier forced to rely on Canadian government loans after the cost of the plane exceeded expectations. The political implications of the US ruling has also sparked concerns given the jets are stuffed full of US-made equipment, including the engine, which is made by American aerospace giant Pratt Whitney. UK firm Megat, chaired by Sir Nigel Rudd, supplies the braking systems for the C-Series jets although these are also made in the US. Bombardier's Northern Ireland plant makes the wings for the plane, which has previously sold jets to Air Baltic and Swissair.